Mabuhay Philippines! Here are the top 5 places I can recommend for you to visit if you are thinking about spending a few days in Manila. Because of all of these locations, I have wonderful impressions of the Philippines generally. Consequently, pay close attention and stay tuned in order to fill your Manila to-do list. Start discovering capital city Manila from exciting BGC. It is known as Bonifacio Global City, which is the country's leading central business and lifestyle district. This place has to offer many attractions and activities, ensure unforgettable time. BGC prides itself in being a city with a soul, rich with lush parks, open spaces and active street life. Restaurants, bars, coffee shops. It looks so modern over here. It's like small town, you know, small town and many different uh, places to just relax. It is a compact community where everything that you need is conveniently within reach. It's like Manhattan, but I haven't been there, but anyways, it looks like that. With these nice palms and high buildings here. The most affordable shopping mall out of all malls in BGC is turned to be Market Market. Here you can find deals at big brand stores, themed bazaars and hawker markets. Street food and for souvenirs, some stuff over here is selling. Well, one price, just one it's less than two dollars. Yeah. Perfect for walking around, Bonifacio High Street has a mixture of local, boutique and international stores. The outdoor grassy areas make for the perfect picnic date with family and friends. Well, right now I'm in the middle of BGC High Street, uh, just on time because of this amazing sunset on my background and because of this uh, three-dimensional LED screen. I guess not only me, but also many people just standing over here taking video of this amazing uh, view. The best thing also to view here is these skyscrapers. It's just uh, blinking to the sunset. Do you see the view? I see the sun lights um, which is coming to these buildings and also sky. Do you see like that clouds? Just really amazing. If you are wondering how much it would cost to stay in BGC, I was able to find a lovely one-room apartment for about $50 per night after doing some research. If rented for a month, the cost will range from $1,000 till $1,500. This location is sometimes referred to as the Manhattan of Asia because of its many outstanding facilities. The next place after walking around BGC is visiting romantic, incredible Venice Grand Canal Mall in McKinley Hill. One of the best places of Manila is Venice Grand Mall, which is on my background. You know, guys, uh, this mall uh, was awarded in 2017 because of um, Italian, unbelievably beautiful architecture style. And this is just my, I'm just in the entrance and I'm already so much amazed how it's beautiful and huge. Look at this area, even this area where it was built also great. It has European Italiano style. <laughs> Are ready, guys? We should go inside and to explore what this mall can offer to us. Let's go. Well, now, moment of truth. I'm going inside of this mall. It has nice photo shoot dome. Oh, so many flowers. Hello. <laughs> Look at this SpongeBob. So creative. It's really beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at this view. It's just real like Venice. I haven't been to Italy, but it seems to me so it's such a beautiful place. Wow. I guess this is the best place that I've seen in Manila. <laughs> Better than I've seen before. Such a beautiful mall. <gasps> oh, it's like paradise. Oh. For girls who really love watching Disney uh, cartoons and movies, this is just like in the movie. I wish I could wear some beautiful dress, like Cinderella dress, and walk by these streets. Such a beautiful, oh my goodness, oh my god. 
this mall with Vinny's team draws hundreds of visitors, especially those who come with their families because of its lovely architecture and huge canal limitation. I feel like I'm in another part of the world since I truly believe I'm in Venice now even though I haven't set my foot in Italy. Once you visit this place, first of all you should take a gondola ride through the mall to make your Italiano feelings more realistic. Here with my Italiano companions, we're sending loves in inviting you to visit this spectacular mall. Additionally, the mall is ideal for couples looking to spend romantic time together. You can leave a log with your name engraved on this bridge as a charming memento of your unwavering dedication to one another. Many upscale indoor and outdoor restaurants and stores are located close to the canal. Along with upscale restaurants, the food court also has a number of cafes. Look at this, how many types of food you can try here. Just uncountable places to go. So I took advantage of the opportunity to eat in some pizza and pasta to satisfy my temporary Italiano spirit. They had a fantastic scent and had a really scrumptious appearance. As I was eating them, it occurred to me that I had probably overestimated this dinner. As a result, I'll give them a final rating of 6 out of 10 due to the very sour pasta and the dry crust of the pizza. At least I told the truth to you folks. The biggest benefit of Filipino malls is that they are usually pet friendly. I have observed many individuals having a good time with puppies in these places. I've experienced a small taste of what it's like to be in Italy. My Kinley in Tagwing City is a fantastic area to chill out. The next place is Old World in Tramuros, which is home to Spanish era landmarks. There is no better place to be than in Tramuros if you want to learn about Manila's rich history. During Spanish colonization time of the Philippines, Spanish people have built the city inside of Manila and built around the city huge gates. So where I am right now, walking from this gate, and it makes me so magnificent feelings. The translation of Intramuros from Spanish word, it means city within the walls. And uh, Intramuros is one of the oldest and ancient districts of Manila. So now this is the view to the main street. And here, if you come to Intramuros, you can find out this huge park with nice, beautiful trees around. And just explore this place more and more. These walls have experienced many challenging moments, especially during World War II. It was suffered so much during the war. It was destroyed totally, exactly this Intramuros. So this gate that I am walking right now is reconstructed one more time after World War II. During Spanish colonization time, they have built uh, so many churches and cathedrals in the Philippines. So it means that they brought uh, Catholicism to these islands. And for now, uh, in the Philippines, about 80% of Catholic religion, from my background, as you see, it's uh, one of the oldest ancient cathedrals, churches, which is called St. Augustine. And it was built in 1607. It is included to UNESCO World Heritage Site. I would like to go inside uh, to see what is happening and how it looks as it's ancient, the oldest church in the world. It must be very amazing inside. During my first video about um, impressions of the Philippines, of Manila, we have already been to the St. Augustine Church. And um, it was in the same way as right now. I, but unfortunately, I didn't see any ceremonies, like wedding ceremonies, but I will be very happy to see one more if someone will invite me the Philippines to their wedding party. It has a really huge wall. The rooftop is all decorated. And this one is huge Cinderella's. It's more in the shape of Catholic religion. Mm -hmm. 
like being a Muslim girl, it's very proud for me uh, to go inside into churches, cathedrals. I really like this feeling, the feeling of being healed, soul healed, just breathing and experiencing ancient times. Just amazing. Hello. Can I know how much cost this ride on horse? One thousand for one hour. One thousand. Uh, how many person? Two. Two? Three, four. Okay, okay, it's okay. One hour, one thousand. Yeah, okay. Thank you. You will go around to this area, yeah, Intramuros. Okay, okay, great. Oh, so cute. Yeah, this is uh, our service, uh, Lamborghini bicycle. Oh. Because if you walk there, you know Intramuros very big inside. Okay. All city is covered with a uh, gate, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you I see. Go around here if you like. How many kilometers uh, square? Uh, approximately, uh, we have uh, 4.5 kilometers inside. Outside. Okay, yeah. I got it. Mm. So this is the place when you will uh, like to visit. visit around. Mm. How much it cost? Can it's you tell me? 350 each person, 30 yes. minutes, yeah? Yes, per 30 minutes. Okay, each person for one hour, 700. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Well, guys, if you have a chance, just in front of uh, St. Augustine Church, you can find this beautiful building. This is also a museum, which is called Casa Manila Museum. And it has theater inside and um, this type of fancy restaurant. Just let's walk inside. Oh, this is very amazing, beautiful. I want to show you one more thing. Uh, in this museum, in the theater, you can watch a performance um, which is called Barbara. Where is the entrance? I guess it was from this side. Hmm. I'm a bit confused. Yeah, I should go a bit ahead. Oh, yeah. Here is. So you see the writing Barbaras? heritage restaurant it's a huge restaurant inside hello so this is the show that you can see Barbara is kind of traditional Filipino dance mixed with Spanish and it costs around 1,500 peso for three hours of performance and you can also take a part take part in that kind of performance they will teach you to dance So this is the view to the restaurant. In front of Casa Manila Museum you can find very talented Filipino people, mainly teenagers and young people they, who are like preparing for their projects, school projects. I've seen just lately beautiful couple they were taking picture over here. It's very amazing photo shoot zone over here. A must-see attraction for tourists in Intramuros is the Manila Cathedral, one of the biggest cathedrals in Asia. Due to earthquakes, fire and other natural disasters, the cathedral has undergone multiple modifications and reconstructions since it was first constructed in the 16th century. This church frequently hosts weddings, giving you the opportunity to see a Filipino wedding celebration. This car, we have been inside, participated in that uh, religious part of wedding party, and it really looks like in the movie. Yeah, bride is inside. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. Maybe this Bentley also of couple, special couple couple. Since many Filipinos with possible Spanish ancestry have historically lived there, Intramuros offers more than just tourist opportunities. You can also learn about local life there. 
Well, guys, if you walk around Intramuros, you can find out different Spanish-style buildings. And the example for that is on my background. It is the building, but inside you can find a fitness center. It has decorated like real Spanish or Mexican style. Someone is saying hi to me over there. He's Russian, but he's from Kazakhstan also, yeah, Kazakhstan. Am I look like Filipino? Yeah, I yeah? Ah. Same face? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Salamat po. Sorry? Uh, Tagalog, no. I know only Salamat po. Ako si Balmar. Kamusta ka? Can you teach me? Can you say something? Kamusta ka? Mabuti. Maguti? Yeah. Maguti. I'm Mabuti. good. Mabuti. Ah, Mabuti. Yeah. Okay, Mabuti. <laughs> okay. What is inside? Yeah, you know the, the fitness? Yeah, fitness. Ah, all the building is fitness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Huge one. Thank you. 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 It is like Spanish, yeah? Yeah, no, no, Danish. Danish building. Danish? Danish. Okay. Danish. Okay. You know, this is a model of a house, it's a Danish model. Danish. Danish, Danish. What Danish is it? modern. Danish modern? Yeah. Okay. okay, okay, okay. It is very beautiful. This is all intramuros? Yeah, yeah all intramuros. All intramuros. It's very intramuros. It's a, it's a, it's a, Historical, yeah. Ah, where's Fort Santiago? This one. Yeah. Oh, Gil Strait, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at this kid. Salamat po. Oh, look at this kid. All of them so happy. Hello. Hi. The best thing that I really love about Filipino people that they are all approach us. It's very easy for them to approach. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> White guy is approaching. One more. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. What is your name? Torstan. Torstan? Yeah. Okay, Torstan. Gain. Gain. Okay. What is your name? Ardi. Ardi. Okay, guys. Goodbye. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. So bye -bye. cute. Bye bye. Take care, boys. Be careful. Arigato. Bye bye. No, thank you. So cute, boys. Yeah. They even wrote my name like in graffiti. Paul Moore. Oh, I didn't expect that he can do it. Oh, I love Filipino people. <laughs> The next place you need to visit is Makati City, which is located in the heart of Metro Manila. Being the Philippines' financial hub, Makati is where the majority of the country's banks, retail establishments, businesses, and foreign embassies are located. Very... What is that? Is the same like a restaurant, I guess? Yeah, it should be a restaurant. In Makati area, they have May Bank. I guess this one should be Malaysian bank because I've seen many of them and uh, headquarters in Kuala Lumpur. Wow, I guess we are very close to the center of Makati. Highways. There are overpasses connecting some sectors of the central business district, allowing people to walk above the streets. The central business district sidewalks and the pedestrian underpasses make it simple to navigate by foot. My favorite experience in Makati was taking a stroll through the Ayala neighborhood. Ayala Ave. Wow. This is also one of versions of Dubai.
Look at that side also. Oh my goodness. What a beauty. No way. Oh my god. This is very different from PGC. Look at this. Makati has also grown into an important destination for leisure for both locals and foreign tourists. I wish I could live in one of the top floors with nice view to the city with rooftop swimming pool. Just amazing. Living and playing in the same city as your job is now possible thanks to Makati. Some individuals also refer to the city as New York. It makes some sense, right? Living expenses in Makati city are much greater than those in nearby Filipino communities, partly because of the city's rapidly rising real estate value and the comparatively upmarket commercial and the residential options. Well, I guess it was a quite good decision to come here to explore a new area of uh, Manila because as I noticed every area in Manila they are quite different from each other so that's why if you come here to Manila try to have uh, some times and walk around the same like I did we are right now in one of the biggest malls in the Asia which is called Mall of Asia it considered to be the fifth in the rate of the biggest malls in the world it has so many different campuses where you can enjoy and make doing shoppings for almost a day. So let's look at this mall, what it has offered to us. Let's go. The Mall of Asia is situated in Pasay's Bay City. It occupies thousands of square feet and it is a member of the SM Malls Group. The world's largest home furnishing retailer, IKEA, is also located in this mall. In front of Mall of Asia, you can find out this kind of parking area of local transports, jeepneys, tuk-tuks and some buses. So it means that it's very easy to get your location. Prices for these local transports vary between 12 and 20 pesos. It seems to me not very expensive. I believe that in this mall, the main store is SM. Uh, which is translated as super mall. Many people usually do the shopping in SM store because of its affordable prices and range of choice. I bought some clothes from SM. I bought three three types of clothes for only 1000 peso. It is very very cheap. Hoppa. Came to eat at this food hall. It is located in the third floor on the third floor of this mall. There are tons of restaurants with different countries tastes. The Olympic-sized ice skating rink inside the mall is one of the entertaining things to do in this area. It is a shopper's paradise with over 700 shops carrying a wide range of brands. In addition to shopping, the mall offers a wide range of other attractions including the SM by the Bay amusement park. The theme park is home to numerous exhilarating rides and attractions, including a huge ferris wheel with fantastic views of the surroundings. Observing breathtaking sunset from the bay was one of the things that I loved most about Mall of Asia. These are the top 5 locations I have visited in Manila during my brief trip. And I sincerely hope you enjoyed viewing and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave your feedback and recommendation for my next visit to Manila. I really appreciate each and every one of you sticking around to watch my vlogs. Keep an eye for my new upcoming vlogs and take care!